Hello, Mayuli. Wonderful to have you here with Sportstar. Thank you. Now, I jump off straight to the questions. First of all, congratulations on winning the quota. Thank you. And uh, you know, you have come a long way from watching CID and starting shooting to finally winning and winning an Olympic quota. How does it feel? It feels really great that uh, I finally achieved a quota for Paris 2024 that I have been looking for so long, and that too with a bronze medal at World Championship, which is such a prestigious game. And I have been working really hard uh, with my coach uh, Bivashan sir, and all the plannings just matched up, and uh, the match went just great. Okay. So you talked about your coach Bivashan. How is he as a person, at both off the off the lane and on the lane? Well, he is very strict. You know, I mean, he is very strict uh, on and off both the sides, and he is like uh, looking after every small details. Uh, it's not only about technicality but apart uh, from uh, proper shooting how my lifestyle is how everything uh, you know he just uh, pushes me so much that you have to like gain each and every point in your daily lifestyle so that what really matters for an uh, true athlete to achieve in that level to be disciplined uh, all the way through so he is like that strict and uh, always helpful uh, whatever i need and uh, any stage Anywhere I need, he is just up for everything. Okay, can he be friendly as well at times? Yes, he jokes around a lot, lot as well. So he is friendly as well. Okay, so uh, at one point you yeah. were there, you know, you were training under, and you you have said it said this before to me that you know Anjum and then Apoorvi, they were like you know kind of mentors to you when you started off. You were one of the youngest in the team, yeah. and now you have moved on to becoming one of the senior most of the team. Yeah. You're 22, 23. 23. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now you have people coming up like Sulekh Kumar and all. So you know, how does it feel to see you know? How does it augur for shooting that you know it's such a young unit? You know, the average age of the Indian shooting team is so low. So how does it augur for the shooting team in the near future? Future of the sport. Well, to be very honest, when I was there with uh, Apuvidi and Anjumdi, they were like, "It's just matter of time that all the youngsters is gonna come up, and the day is here when I am the senior most in my teammate." And uh, it it does fe- it doesn't feel you know like we are very good friends. We all are very good. We have a good unity all together, and um, I just uh, be there as uh, to you know help them out, and I just follow that legacy that you know it's not about. me being senior and pushing the juniors ke i am the senior and you have to uh, treat us different it's not like that we all be together we help each other out and howsoever we can be for each other we see that so and even in off days we go out we have good uh, food and roam around so that's how we connect and that's how we bond together it's okay, really so good that if like tilotoma finds a problem somewhere do you guide her out as well yes yes of course i mean any kind of uh, they always come up like uh, what can we do in this situation or i need this help so i always try and help them out okay so see i know you for fact like you do well under pressure because i remember that in the shoot in hague netherlands yeah. in 2019 where you shot a 3.4 but then went yeah. on to win the gold medal Yeah. So, how do you deal with pressure situations, and you know, in finals and also in competitions? Well, it always have been a great challenge for me to shoot, you know, under the pressure and all, and that's what uh, makes me uh, more makes the game more interesting for me. So, I always like it pushes me and it makes me more uh, focused and concentrated and bring the best out in me. So. Yeah. i i am still training uh, you know to how to do much more better in the pressure situations so i am working with my uh, psychologist so so that um, i can be more strong uh, from the mental side and uh, be more strong headed in the pressure situation games so how does that happen how do you become stronger in pressure situations like you said you are working yeah so it's ma- mainly you know there are ma- many things we work on like uh, while shooting we have done brain mappings and all that how uh, how well is my concentration level is uh, concentration level is going how focused i am in each and every shot my breathing patterns and everything so we focus on each and every details and we see where i am lacking after how many shots i am losing my focus and is there a pattern or not and what kind of pattern and what thoughts are coming in 
so these are all being monitored and then i work on those things if uh, what kind of thoughts and also we all discuss this and we solve it out and we see how to uh, do good in those situation with those thoughts it's not about cutting off those but it's about how to be more focused even if those things are occurring okay. so you are having this brain mapping thing i understand that dubas one told me again in yeah. two days Yes, I am going to Pune. We have it there. Okay, uh, where do you have it? In Pune, uh, Gun for Glory shooting range. Oh, we have it the there on, at the academy. So, now I'll move on to, you know, last last time during the Olympics, you had to shoot a lot of times in NQS. Yeah. Does it finally feel free that you are not shooting in NQS anymore in the main events? I know in NQS for a fact that you are shooting higher than the scores. Uh, the other athletes yeah. were yeah, registering in the finals. Does it finally yeah. feel great to be you know, out of that loop? Well, yes, it does feel really good because the entire year I remember I sh shot MQS and uh, it it wasn't bad. All of the matches went very great for me according to the scores. But yet it does feel good that I am finally in the team uh, and being India rank one does feel good and you know scoring and the scores have increased so much uh, nowadays that even in 6:30 you are not sure that if you, if you are in the finals. so the score has also increased and i have also worked on so much that uh, i mean the competition nowadays within india it is so much and it is so good and each and every day you have to be on your toes that yes you have to fight your best on each and every competition yeah so you shot the national record also in the world yeah. championships qualification yes. yeah so talking about frustration and uh, you know it always happens in our life and in sport as well so at any point of time did you feel such low that you know you started to reconsider your decision maybe that maybe you know i could have had a normal lifestyle and not been in a fit this discipline lifestyle maybe I, i could have you know roamed about like any other guy eat whatever i want did you ever feel well sometimes you know you just feel the fomo of normal life mm -hmm. but at the same time when i won the bronze medal recently in, at world championship standing on that podium and just feeling uh, that uh, moment that you are you won a medal and that too with a quota and you are just a step ahead to the paris olympics towards your goal towards your dream and that moment is just uh, you can't match that with anything else so standing there i still remember getting goosebumps and uh, seeing our national flag going up and it just made me feel so proud and it just you know makes sense of all the sacrifice all the Uh, hard works i have been doing and everything i have uh, seen and everything i have faced so it all just makes sense at that point of course a lot of hard work has gone behind uh, you know to be where you are where you are now and your parents have worked uh, uh, hard for this yeah. uh, now uh, i've recently like you was one again told me that the mm -hmm. father has retired yes and uh, you know it's it's kind of a bit difficult now financially you know to sustain uh, yes so what is what are you facing like what is what are the problems now that well now that i am training at hyderabad at uh, gun for glory shooting range i am staying away from my home for the last 2 years and training has been going really good here you know uh, training under bebashan sir at this range with the, all these proper support but at the same time yes um, i'm not i'm not uh, i haven't joined any job right now i'm there in the top scheme but not in the core group i am there in the uh, development group so far and i have ogq supporting my uh, shooting side only so you know apart from that staying here it is no, quite expensive and the la daily lifestyle we have to maintain and everything because you have to go to the gym and have proper food and everything ma maintain a proper lifestyle so that you stay fit so maintaining all those things is not quite uh, i mean at a, after a certain level of point it, it is expensive so maintaining that it does get a real difficult at some time but i am managing for now let's see if i get some good job offer so i will look after that then mm. so i understand it can be mentally very taxing also yeah uh, you know how has been in gun for glory hyderabad mm. moving here mm. uh, from calcutta how has that helped how has gfg helped you in student well gfg has helped me a lot to be very honest i mean uh, when i came here i i remember that i wasn't shooting real good at that time i wasn't near any uh india team and i was struggling at that point and uh, from since then uh, i have been here and i have been training every day and 
any kind of support i needed from the team any kind of support i needed from my coach from gfg they were always up for any kind of help i mean any kind of improvisation i need on my rifle it just gets done by like this and um, they are always up if i need to train even in my off days when the range is closed i can train that time as well if i really have to because if i have a competition and i have less days of time in my hand and i need to train and they are always like okay no problem we can open the range for you so it, they are always up for helping me and it has been really great okay so can you talk to us about the facilities here they were telling telling me that the targets here are of olympic standard yeah. so what are the things are the you know the good things here or you know also the other things which can be a bit different and you can it can be a bit helpful in the coming years well yes definitely we have uh, 20 lanes uh, of uh, electronic target and um, i can tr uh, train in any lane i need and there are uh, good shooters here as well like i can train in you know in competitive uh, ambience as well mm -hmm. so which is very important i can train uh, in any uh, all over india you know there are so many ranges of gun for glory like in chennai i went to chennai as well i, I am going to pune yes and i trained there as well with the other shooters and i trained in pune as well so there are pretty other ranges which helps me you know um, gain that experience of going to different range and how uh, easily and how fast you can get used to that range and that ambience so that you can uh, i mean every time you go for a shooting competition you have in different range so it is very important to get used to that range and that ambience as soon as possible so training like this is really helpful so i that's what i am saying like it is a uh, really great training here and across all the states so that has helped me you know perform in uh, in a better way and prepare for myself okay so you are very good friends with ella vanilla ella vanilla trains yeah. trains in chennai or yeah okay so you met her there yeah i have met her there we are good friends and uh, we have been there uh, in this squad since 2017 we have been together you see that every time you meet each other it's a very special way in which you meet each other yes <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, what are your views on the Indian team at present? Like whoever or all are there. So, what do you think of the team members? How is it? Well, right now I can say that every camp I am going, you know, there there is one day which is called control match, and uh, uh, that day I remember on the last squad camp I shot six thirty two point something in the qualification on that control match day, and I was in in the top eight. <laughs> <laughs> so that that is the level of uh, competition we have nowadays and everybody is you know Where working in in delhi. delhi and everybody is working so good on uh, each other and the entire team is like working uh, all together we have all the uh, special um, you know uh, for psychologists we have a team for uh, physiotherapists we have a team for the sports science we have a team we have an entire team and it is very good and among we friends we also it's not like we keep anything secret we discuss we have meetings we discuss uh, what are the best possible way to shoot good we have that healthy competition among, among each other so whenever we are shooting we are doing anything we have that healthy competition we have that he healthy bond which is very important because when you are going abroad you are all you have i mean we have each other only so having that healthy competition having that healthy bond is really important when you are out of country when you are out of from your family mm -hmm. also uh, before i shift the conversation to paris when you before asian games i think is your priority now it's so close but it's not it's a month it's a month away i think of 20 today is 30 30 less than a month away. yeah so uh, yeah so how are your preparations going on for is there any special kind of thing that you are doing something different which you don't do regularly something you have introduced maybe or removed from your schedule well right now i will be traveling to pune first thing and uh, uh there i will do my weapon servicing and uh, some pellet testing and all which is needed very much and uh, other than that because it is so close to asian games there are not many days i am not changing anything right now but definitely after world championship we have few points where i have discussed with bibhashan sir which i will be working on maybe few small things regarding finals and few small things with my techniques and all we'll be discussing is it all the series when you shot a 9.9 
Ah, yes. <laughs> I mean, how to, you know, just uh, maybe eliminate few bad shots. It's not that I, I am not uh, shooting great shots. There are great shots and there are few bad shots which is uh, making uh, the huge difference. So, we will be calculating that and we will see uh, what is making that happen and we will eliminate and we will try to eliminate as much as possible. You know, uh, you can't really say what is going to happen on that day. So, we will be working on those things and uh, train uh, at Pune with uh, all the proper uh, facilities there as well. So, that's it. I, I am not changing anything as far, but maybe after Asian Games, we'll see for some something new. Hmm. Tell me what goes through an athlete's mind whenever you shoot a 9. So, I was there at Rupal. So, whenever somebody shot a 9, you can hear the audience behind you go, Yes. Everybody gasps. So, yeah. Does that like like a kind of plays with your head or something? What 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 are the thought processes that goes on whenever you go into the nines? Well, uh, at, at the first when you shot a nine, even before looking at the screen, you if somebody is yeah. shouting oh, you know it is a nine. So you just that time there are too many emotions, too many thoughts coming up. As first thing is like, why is it a nine? I mean, what happened? Then you analyze, then you overanalyze sometimes. So it's all there is so many random thoughts uh, coming up all together, and definitely uh, uh, the thing about like you are lagging behind now that you lo you lost a point. It's a big point. So I for me myself I'm like yes these thoughts are supposed to come, but the main thing which is important is like how composed are you at that point. How calm are you at that point? How you are overcoming that uh, that shot? You know, it's not about getting stuck to that shot. You just, it's a nine, it's a nine. You can't change that. So thinking about that doesn't really help you. Thinking about the next shot, what, how perfect can you be on the next shot? How, I mean, uh, how you are shooting the next shot, how you are preparing for the next shot, that is more important. So you just have to move on and shoot the next shot as best as you can. So I just do that, I was like, okay, if it's a 9, I have to accept it. I can't do anything about that. All I can do is focus for the next and do as good as I can. Are you one of those who checks the screens after every shot or you don't check the scores? Some of them check after every shot and then they decide how to go about the next or there are some people also who don't uh, check the screen at all and you know, that's how they keep a comment. Which one are you doing? Well, I do check and... Uh, you know, I do get scolding for doing that as well. Oh, actually, they ask you not to. <laughs> yeah, my coach asked me not to. You know, you know how if you are disconnected with the screen and if you then you are connected more with yourself. Mm -hmm. but because you know you need to go for a yes, high score. Yes, yes. So it's about being confident on your own process, about being confident and sure about how, what you have shot, what you have seen in the tar target picture. So if you are sure about it, you don't really need to see the screen. So that's what the main funda is, but yes, I do check the screen. Okay, so you'll change that also. We'll change that. Trying to change that. Yeah. So, uh, now I shift the conversation to Paris. You know, now, uh, maybe it's become a bit more weirder with the, I'd say weirder with the Olympic selection trial system coming in, because previously also you, you won a quota for the country only and not for yourself. Mm. But now you have to again, you know, reset everything to zero, play the trials in March 2024. Mm. So what do you think about this new rule where you have to, you know, play the trials again, start from zero with everybody and your recent form mm. there would count more than what you have been doing over the past cycle? Well, yes, it is very different, but you know, uh, uh, I think it is not that bad because before Olympics, Whosoever shooter is shooting good and uh, their best form, whosoever is there is there in the best form should go to the Olympics, you know, because it's it's not that, uh, um, I mean, whosoever is, is shooting a year back, shooting like 630 and above, may not shoot as as that good in the next year. Yes. So, because it's a long, it's a long time and ups and downs are, yeah, like bound oh, to happen. Yeah bound to happen so you just have to you know plan in a way and uh, th this is where rest and recovery is very important so because what happens is for the shooters like there are so many competitions and by the end t towards the olympics we have already shot so many competitions that by the when the olympics is close by 
we get burned out the shooters are burned out already and the, the pressure is all there and the hype is there and you know and uh, it gets too much on our head so it is important to have a proper planning about that how many matches you want to play how many is required for you to play so that you can do your best on the main time on the given uh, time frame that is towards the olympics near your olympic games so that is what planning is all required for okay. so what do you have to say about the new high performance program that they have started after tokyo uh, the nri the full team that they have hired with pure bhushan leading it yeah what do you have to say about their team do you like it or do you want some changes there well uh, there were pretty few i mean uh, when it was first introduced it was very different for us and we were not able to you know get to know what is exactly happening because it was not discussed with any of the shooters and no one was aware, aware of what is really going to happen and what is happening and all but um, by the over the time when we are getting to know by few things and all i mean uh, um, like what exactly it is that we all are together and it is more about creating that bond and getting to know and getting aware of uh, every small details about each other nowadays we uh, the best thing which i can see is happening that we have like almost 20 scat with 20 laptops in our training camps any time we want a scat and uh, laptop we can just ask for it we are go- getting good pellets and ammo uh, nowadays and also we are getting you know if you need some video recordings of our shooting we can do that we need if you need our breathing pattern get uh, mapped out we can do that so this were the things which are included which is hel- helpful definitely and at the same time there are a few things which is not maybe not that required uh, you know because the le- camp get so lengthy and it, it sometimes it just get tiring uh, with um, all the sessions and everything all the classes and all one day gets very tiring but slowly slowly we have put that input as well that um, maybe do it in a shorter way maybe because we are getting more exhausted so, so they're accepting feedback from the shooters yes yes now they are so now things are getting in hand slowly and uh, hopefully it will get more better and better by each day and uh, now tell me for paris olympics you know different athletes have different ways to motivate themselves i know uh, boxing i know a boxer for instance who you know keeps the paris medal as her wallpaper so you know every time she unlocks her phone that is the first thing she sees yeah. you have anything as such some poster or something in your house phone i don't know like you know well yes i do have a map a drawing i have made by myself of the uh, olympic rings and the paris uh, logo and all so i have that in in front of my bed whenever i wake up i see that that's in hyderabad or that's in hyderabad only so i i do see that and um, about the wallpaper you know i haven't put any of my medals in my wallpaper recently mm-hmm. but after the after the world championship i just i looked at my medal and i was like this is the photo i want to keep in my wallpaper so right now i have that in my wallpaper the medal or the podium ceremony the medals yeah okay so uh, can you tell me about the kind of strength training and all the shooter requires i have no idea about see testing and all i know like yeah. to build your post what is the kind of workout that goes behind shooting you have to strengthen your forearms and all how does it work well you know it is very different actually because we don't need that muscles like big muscles so for you the shooting your life for quite some time how does the stability mean? yes so for we have to work out for our stability for uh, to keep our body fit you know because the position we are standing for so many long hours yeah. it is very unusual for a human being to stand yeah. like that yeah. so we have to train uh, we have to work out for like to keep our own muscles as normal as possible because the position is so different so we have to work out apart from that like to keep our muscles as healthy and as strong as possible so that we can stand as like for 2 hours 3 hours without any pain occurring in our body yeah. so we train like that we strain on on this very small muscles we have in our body for this st- stability and all it's not with like heavy weights and all i would prefer and i do prefer uh, working out with thera bands and all which oh. is uh, yeah which is uh, which you know it gives you strengthening as well and at the same time it works on your small muscles okay 
so it is not like you are building up your muscle like big also, enough it lessens injury chances yes yeah, yes so it it is it is a very healthy way to do that and also stretching and uh, cool down and recovery after your training and everything this it is very important warm up is very important cool down is very important and um, proper recovery proper hydration and this all the things that i i maintain and every shooter at uh, at this level maintains okay so does the diet also take a hit because see i was reading an article about neeraj chopra the other obviously it's a different discipline but i am just giving an example here he has got, like he has not had any aerated drinks in the past i don't know cycle maybe he has just had one gulab jamun <laughs> over the past 3 years i think i'm not sure but yeah does shooters uh, shooters diet also take a hit like you have some it does it, it does take a hit but not like as that much as, yes. yeah but we do maintain our diet and uh, i mean it's like how healthy can we eat how because every time we are going out we have to maintain that diet it is more about like being hydrated and eating healthy as possible and having all the proper nutrients in our body so that is how we balance it out and uh, we carry our own supplements and everything so that we be uh, Uh, we have all the nutrients in our body before our, our match and after a certain point of time you just know your body so well that you know what you are lacking mm-hmm. so you just understand if i i can understand that if my body is dehydrated or not if my body need some energy uh, for something so i take those supplements or i eat something really good and heavy so that uh, and before the match i try to have you know more of carbs so that it just helps before your match to uh, for the extra energy for the extra energy and also helps to keep you you know com- composed on the pre- pressure si- situations as well so that's how we maintain it okay so during your lowest point obviously you have a psycho registry as well psycho registry you have to speak to her but other than that do you have somebody personal as in from the family side or a friend i don't know who you talk to and who listens to you and you know, just gives you good advice well um i have my cousin sister who is always there with me and uh, we from back home yeah okay. and she is also a shooter and um, oh, who is this uh, swarnali roy and uh, she is also shooting at national level only <laughs> so okay. so uh, we played a finals together in uh, this year oh yeah this year yeah. yeah right i remember yes yeah, so uh, she was second yeah uh, we had a tough final <laughs> and it was very fun and i do talk to her and uh, um we always try to hang out as much as possible but she sometimes stays in kolkata sometimes she, she stays in hyderabad she's training yes oh. yes she, she trains here only so uh, she is the person that i talk to much so your mama's daughter whose daughter is this uh my mom's sister's daughter Masha. my mom's yeah dad relation same here <laughs> okay so if, if i ask you to revisit revisit the day of the World Championship uh, event that you had, both yes. qualification and uh, final. Tell me what happened that day, like from the start to finish. Well, I first thing was like I had my ma- match in the late afternoon. Mm. I remember so planning that day because that usually was the last event of the day, final. Yes, yeah. last final of the day, and uh, I our matches are not usually that that late. so planning that day was very important for me i mean what time you have to have your breakfast what time you have to have your lunch so that you just don't get hungry at the, while you are shooting so uh, that pre planning was very important and getting proper rest also was very important uh, so i had a very good sleep at the night and i was like okay it's all all fine i just prepared myself and i i was like i just need to sleep so i i slept as much as i can and then woke up fresh and it was very positive from 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 the morning only and i just felt ready for my match and i was like let's just go and play and i was listening to my mu- music what kind of music do you listen well it depends on mood but i do have a playlist mix up of electronic musics and all so i listen to that so and favorite, favorite artist or anybody no it's very random, random. so i it more of um, uh, you know drop down musics and electronic musics mostly yeah, mostly yeah. the yeah. uh, most of them are yeah, yeah. most of them are listening to <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it just depends, you know. It's very random. Like which, whichsoever I'm listening, if I like it, I'll okay, okay. This is good. <laughs> That's you all. Do auto Spotify auto suggestions. Basically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, that's how I, I I was listening to the music and I was spending time with myself in the morning and I had proper food and then I went to the range and uh, I had time I was preparing myself and it was all good I was feeling very positive and confident for my match and then the time was coming I had a before I uh, headed to the range I had a video call with my coach actually so I called uh, Bibhasham sir I'm like where are you can I just video call you so I video called him and I was having my lunch so he was like what's up happening I was like nothing I'm just chilling so he was like okay you look good I was like yes I am just feeling con confident so I'm just waiting for my match I was like okay okay you look good uh, so just go on and just do what what best you can and just play the way you play you don't have to do anything extra you don't have to do anything um, more nothing less you just do what you do so I was like, yes, okay, I'm just going to do that. So I went to the range, I prepared myself and all. And I went to, the, uh, to my lane and, you know, the goosebumps and the pressure is building slowly, slowly. And um, all I just did, I was like, I just need to breathe and focus on myself. One shot at a time and that was my motto that day. That's how I shot and I was seeing, though I was seeing that, yes, shots are going good and all. I was like, I just need to hold it to the last shot. I, and I have to make it to the, it's not like making making it to the finals, but I just have to repeat what I am doing. It's all about repetitions of uh, how perfect you can. I was like, okay, just repeat and repeat. And that just came into the flow and uh, came into the pattern of my shooting. And I was just doing, and when I just finished with the last shot, 10.6, and I saw, saw the score and it was 6.34. And I was like, yes, I did it. I did it. And I, I was sure that I am making it to the finals. And I came back, I looked at the scoreboard and I was at the top and I looked back, all the coaches and the support team was there and everybody was smiling and, uh, you know, clapping and all, so it was very good. And then I, after one hour only, I had my finals, I was like, okay, qualification is done, now next, finals. Yeah, you start from zero again. Yes. So that's that how my day was. And what motivates you the most? Well, it's, um, I mean... Uh, Music definitely does and that day, I mean, this was my third world championship. So I was like, this is the third chance I'm getting, I'm not letting it go. That's how determined I was on that day. I'm like, the finals is my game and I am going to do it no matter what. There are fears there, you know, you go get those nerves and all. I'm like, today nothing matters. All I just need to do is just play my game and stick to it, stick to on myself and focus on myself, not on the outcome, not on the medals, not on the quota, just I need to play first. I need to play what I play, I need to do what I love about shooting. Mm -hmm. So I just need to feel that. So I was doing that. Okay. And lastly, a word on the GFG team, whoever you have here. Well, uh, I would uh, like thank them really from the core of my heart for always being there. I mean, uh, to each one of them, they have helped me uh, so much. Before my World Championship, I was training here. And, uh, you know, it, it, they have always been there for anything. I mean, before going, I needed spare screws and all. I asked them, if you have some screws uh, to give me, they're like, yeah, yeah I, we all have it. And so anything I need, you know, if it is a small thing, if it is a big thing, they just don't delay on anything. And everything is just up and ready for me. And uh, it's always very uh, motivating that they are always smiling and they're always like, only you can do it, only you are the great. And they motivate me so much that, yes, uh, I mean, you shoot so, like, like it's apart from everything. And you just, if you go crazy and you just shoot li like that crazily and you just do that, go there, you are, you are going to win the medal. We are very... Uh, confident on you, we have full faith, just go and do your best and they are all very cool and uh, always very helpful. So thanks to each one of them, thanks to Gagan sir as well for uh, having me here and uh, letting me train here, thank you. It's a big what one. Gagan, actually what did Gagan say after your marriage? Well so far I have been wanting to meet him but he is busy, I hopefully I will meet him soon with the medal. 
is it i i have no idea and may he wasn't here actually i heard that he is in delhi uh, so okay i am leaving tomorrow so that's what happens when he is here i am not there when i am here i am here he is not there yeah it was lovely chatting with you mehuli and we wish that on that phone you have another wallpaper soon yeah. it's not the world championship medal it's the asian medal and later always of course the, the all 2024 yes. thank you so much thank you so much